I will not let you tell me that the Africa in my back is something that I should be ashamed of. I will not let you tell me that I should quiet these drums. I will display them for all the world to see because they are mine. They are mine. They are mine. I just feel like ever since COVID happened, like it just hasn't been like very like opening, like inviting to like go to events or like have events, period. So like what I saw, I was like, oh my gosh, this is something I can go to to kind of connect with everybody in the community. Um, and like it was a black woman, like, you know, talking about her stories and like things that I resonate as well. So it was like, I need to support black women and support myself too because I want to be in that space and just kind of enjoy the vibes. So yeah. It was good to just have like another like great 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 writer come. Um, she's like fantastic, you know. So I was really surprised that we were able to get her, but I'm glad that we did. Um, yeah, and it was a good turnout considering like a, not a lot of people did know about it because it wasn't publicized as much as it should have been. But all in all, it was it was a really good event. I was really happy to perform. Favorite part of the event was when she talked about meeting Missy Elliott. When Missy Elliott was on her couch, like she was like, oh, like how. Missy Elliott found her po the poem that she wrote about her. Like that was so inspiring because it's like you could just be making something creative and then someone you never thought would like DM you DMs you and Missy Elliott is a, like literally an icon. So I was just like, wow. Say I'm at home watching Jeopardy, minding my business. I'm an elderly millennial, and I get a knock at the front door, and Missy Elliott is standing on my front porch. So of course I'm like, girl, are you lost? <laughs> like, you could have sent FedEx. What are we doing here? And she's like, no, I just came to see you. And that is how she ended up in my living room. Missy Ellie came to my house as a result of the poem that I'm about to share with you all. I really did like performing. I don't really like to make a lot of my pieces personal because I don't feel like people should get that from me, only because I'm like a private person in terms of like stuff like that. But it was really, really nice to perform again. Like it's been like two years since I performed in front of people, so. Yeah. And so it was such a great turnout, so much love and support, so many people got the book, so much energy and responses, so I just had an amazing time with you. You know, just like I get up there and tell my own story, write and tell your own stories. You're the only person who can tell it, um, so if you're interested in being a poet, do it. Just write your story, get your voice out there as often as you can.